I am so frustrated right now because people keep using the man pages incorrectly. They always just type man followed by the topic that they want to read about. But that's wrong. That's not how you're supposed to use the man pages. And even worse, people keep telling me to just use ChatGPT, but the AI always gives documentation from the wrong section. AI can never replace someone with my intellect. People need to start learning how to use the man pages, just like it was done in 1971. So this is a copy of the manual pages from 1971 for Unix version 1. And you can kind of tell that this was originally printed on a physical sheet of paper and probably scanned into a computer at some point. And at some point, this was used as a physical manual that you'd have to flip through. And over here in this terminal, I have a man page for a modern day Ubuntu Linux machine. And if you look at the manual from 1971, you can see that commands are in section one. And over here, you can see that that's still the same today. Section two is system calls, and that is still the same. And if we go down even more, here we've got subroutines, and it looks like that's called library calls now. Section four is special files, and that's still the same as well. Section five is file formats, still the same. Section six was originally called user maintained programs, and it looks like that's been renamed to games. And finally, section seven is miscellaneous, and that is still the same as well. And for the 1971 document, it looks like that's the end of the sections, but in modern Linux, it looks like there's two more. Now, if you take a look through the original 1971 documentation, you'll note that there's no man command. So for the very first version of Unix, when you wanted to check the man pages, the only option available to you was to physically check the pages of the manual. Now, if you take a look at the second edition of the Unix programmer's manual, you can see that it contains all of the same sections as the first edition of the manual. The second edition was also the first edition to include a man command. And here, you can see the man page for the very first man command. If you check the third edition of the Unix programmer's manual, you'll see that this edition also includes a section eight on maintenance, which also exists today as system administration commands. And if you check the manual for Unix release version three from 1980, you'll see that it still includes the same section numbering. However, in Unix release version five, you can see a couple small differences. Specifically, it looks like section seven was merged into section five. Regardless, the overall section numbering is still approximately the same. So if you've ever wondered about the origin of man page section numbers, this is it. Now, on a modern machine, many of you are probably used to running the man command with a single word like this. But what you might not realize is that there might actually be multiple man pages for that keyword in different sections. Another example of this would be with the chown keyword. By default, it opens section one, which is for commands, as we saw before. You can explicitly look for chown in section one like this, or you can also look in section two, which provides information about the chown function call for C programmers. Now, according to the man page for the man command, if you don't explicitly specify a section, it will search all available sections according to a predefined order. When I first saw this, I thought, that's interesting. I wonder what the order is. And according to the same man page, this is the ordering. When I first saw this, I thought that looks pretty weird. The ordering includes not only numbers, but also letters and words. Maybe this is some kind of weird wildcard syntax for specifying the ordering. The introduction seems to imply that there are only nine different sections, numbered one to nine. And if there are section names that are entire words or letters, maybe there are even more manual pages than this. And what could possibly be in the 3 p.m. or 3 a.m. sections? A bit of Googling turns up this Stack Exchange answer, stating that the 3 p.m. section is not used anymore and was used for module packages related to Perl. And for a similar question about the 3 a.m. section, it appears to be related to extensions for GNU awk. This made me wonder, could there possibly be other sections? At this point, I started looking for a formal way to list all sections that are available through man. Now I might have missed it, but I skimmed pretty much the entire man page on the man command, and I don't see any simple way to list out all of the sections. Some people suggested looking at the actual file system, which in my case only shows sections one to eight. I then started poking around in the actual man page document files. I noted that what appears to be the section number is included in the file name for each of the document files. So I created this shell pipe to hopefully extract all of the section numbers and then sort them and count them. So here it is. Here's a count of the number of files that are classified as being in each of those sections. I also realized that I could do a similar analysis on the output from this command. As you can see, this output also includes the section number. So in addition, I can also use this technique to try and enumerate the sections. And here is some similar looking output. And here's a Vim comparison comparing the two. So it looks like both methods do enumerate the same sections, but there are some differences in the total counts. And it looks like these are in fact real sections. For example, here's a section in the page three read line, and here are the topics in the section three AM, in three PM, and three Perl. 
So, based on what we've discovered, there are in fact more man page sections than those listed here. Now at this point, I think it's worth backing up a bit and asking, what are we doing with our lives here? In the year of advanced AI and chatbots that can pass the Turing test, we are still putting cryptic numbers beside words in the man pages. And the vast majority of Linux users who see these numbers probably don't even know what they mean. And if more people did know what they mean, I think they'd be surprised that this numbering is based off of a somewhat arbitrary numbering that was made up on a sheet of paper in 1971, and then kept that way forever for consistency. It's kind of funny in a way. Hyperlinks in HTML were invented over 30 years ago, but we still don't use them in man page documentation, and I'm not even suggesting that we should. I think that's probably one of the reasons that the GNU project invented info pages in the first place. The info pages actually do support some form of navigation through the documentation. Having said this, I think that the accessibility of documentation for command line tools is in a very sorry state. I don't know exactly what the solution will be, but I have a feeling that the tsunami of AI tools that are about to come out are going to totally disrupt this situation somehow. I think that the actual solution is going to be some sort of AI-assisted manual curation process that domain experts will be able to use to organize and connect the existing documents. A lot of people have been saying that you can just ask this stuff to ChatGPT or Google, but tools like ChatGPT are very likely to give you information from the wrong version of the document, for example, from the wrong section as we saw before, or they can even hallucinate information that doesn't exist. Googling for man page documentation will work most of the time for well-standardized things that don't change much. However, you'll often find significant differences between the version of a program that you have installed locally on your machine that you want to actually use, and the likely out-of-date documentation that you'll find as the first result on Google. You may even find documentation for a completely different implementation of the same program that doesn't support the same features. Until we solve this problem, make sure to always specify the section when using the man command.